Hi everyone, Stephen from Future Looks, and today we're going to be checking out a brand new microphone from the folks at Rode Microphones. Their microphones are known to be some of the best bang for the buck on the market. And that's why we've selected the NTG2 microphone here to unbox for you today. This is a directional condenser microphone, which is better known as a shotgun microphone. A couple of the notable features of this particular microphone is the fact that it is a dual power microphone, meaning that you can power it off a 48 volt phantom powered XLR connection, or you can power it with a 1.5 volt standard AA battery. Let's get on to unboxing this for you and showing you exactly what the Rode NTG2 is all about. As we get in here, we're, we see the Rode microphone in a vinyl bag not leather, uh, otherwise it'd be very expensive. This, inside the uh, pouch, you'll see a Rode wind muff or a wind um, windscreen. The mic is actually inside this pouch and comes wrapped in a standard plastic bag. This is a very attractive looking mic. It's machined from aluminum, but it is also coated in this resin paint that's not black, it's kind of a charcoal color. And because it's a resin-based paint, it's not anodized or anything like that, it should resist uh, chips and uh, scratches for a very long time. On the mic itself, you'll notice that there is a switch here. Now, there's no actual physical switch. You actually have to use a pen or a screwdriver to get at it. But what this actually does it's, is that this is the high-pass filter which filters at 80 hertz. And this helps uh, eliminate a lot of the wind noise or the rumble that you get from being outdoors when using this mic in the wind. Uh, just in case the included uh, wind muff doesn't do anything for you. On the back, you'll see the XLR connector. And the back of the mic is actually fairly heavy because that's where the amplification uh, electronics sit. So if I unscrew this, this should reveal the battery chamber and that takes a standard AA battery which slips right into the chamber. Now keep in mind that once you put the battery inside, the mic is now live and it will start to consume power right away. So that's one of the uh, downsides of this microphone is that while it, it, it you know it's fairly well built, I really wish it would have had some physical switches so I wouldn't have to um, keep popping the mic, the, um, the battery in and out just to get it to power. The bottom piece of this chamber does not come off so you won't be um, afraid of losing it or anything like that. It just doesn't come off, it just stays kind of hanging there. Screwing it back on, the connection is actually very tight. There's no wobble in the, in the mic frame so overall it's a very well put together microphone, 161 grams so it's I guess it isn't light, but it's definitely not heavy either. So moving on with the unboxing here, of course the pouch, uh, we are also left with a adapter on the bottom that takes the microphone uh, mount down to a size that you could probably use to mount on the end of a boom pole or, a, um, or if you want to cheat, you could probably just mount it on the end of a uh, camera tripod uh, or a, um, or for that matter, a, a monopod. So you can use that as your boom pole because boom poles tend to be extremely expensive. You can pay upwards of uh, 150 all the way up to a, a couple thousand for some of the carbon fiber ones. Inside the box, you will get a manual. Um, this is the NTG2 instruction manual, which comes only in English because there's only one language spoken in Australia. And of course, a reminder that if you register your Rode, Rode microphone at rodemic.com, uh, you will get a 10-year warranty extension from the initial one year for your NTG2 microphone. The retail on the Rode mic is actually in the neighborhood of 369 US dollars. This is about $20 more than the lower end model, the NTG1, which doesn't have the dual power option. So if, if it was my money and I was buying one, I would definitely pick this one because it gives you the extra option of powering it when you don't have a phantom power 48 volt source. 
Now while you're eyeing the uh, Rode NTG2 for your film or video production needs, Rode also sent along a couple of their accessories that are perfect complements to this particular microphone when you want to get better quality sound in different environments. The first thing that I wanted to show you is actually the Rode Deluxe windshield called the WS6. Now this particular windshield is quite deluxe. I've actually never seen a windshield that's this uh, well put together because they're typically just pieces of fabric that just slide onto the uh, the mic and there's nothing really keeping the fuzzy part of the, uh, or the carpet part of it from touching the microphone. Uh, when you put it on here, it's actually fairly large. Now you can see it right beside my head, it's actually quite big and I have a fat head. So uh, <laughs> definitely a very deluxe looking unit uh, and the price will definitely also be deluxe too. So if you're wondering where my, uh, Rode makes their uh, money, it's gotta be on the accessories because this WS6 windscreen will set you back about $99. Finally, the other thing that Rode has suggested to us is an accessory that you may want to have for filmmaking is something called the PG2. Now what this gizmo is, is basically a pistol grip shock mount and what it does for you is allow you to hold on to the microphone and point it in your hand without actually handling the microphone itself because whenever you handle this microphone and even though it's a low noise micro handling noise microphone it's still kind of going to introduce some noise all you do is basically just slide it straight through uh, the shock mount itself is a rubber that's very stiff but forgiving at the same time and holds the microphone very well so you can see that it's not going anywhere, it's not going to flop out. On the uh, pistol grip itself there is a rubberized grip on either side so you don't lose the grip on the microphone because dropping a microphone is bad and there's a quick release on here which allows you to angle the microphone now there's a couple things on here that make it boom pole worthy and that's the fact that there is this little cable routing um, hole that's in the bottom of the mic and as soon as you remove this little plug here you can actually route an XLR cable directly through here and have it exit the other side so you can route it straight down some of the hollow ends of a lot of these professional boom poles out there and have a very nice looking non dangly um, boom pole setup that will um, that will make you look like a pro but if you're not using a boom pole and you're by yourself with the camera you can also use this to just point it at your subject the PG2 will actually set you back about $109 so if you're using a boom pole and if you want to mic your subject a little bit more effectively, might be worth picking it up uh, if you're not using the shock mount for the camera already. Once again, I'd like to uh, thank Rode Microphones for sending over the NTG2. This is a really fantastic, versatile microphone, and I can't wait to start listening to the uh, sound quality once we begin using it in our videos moving forward. Uh, the microphone that we're actually using right now is a $99 microphone, and it's all right, but of course it's no Rode NTG2, so definitely look for the change in the sound quality once we start moving forward with uh, our videos on this particular microphone. Again, my name is Steven, and thank you again for watching, and if you like what we're doing here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, okay? Take care, everyone.